Hey, Tim Hunkard here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to create a worksheet automated by Python that uh, gives you as many problems as you want of this type of problem. Now, let's take a look at the problem. So 224 people enter a room with 53 tables. Some of the tables sit four people while the rest sit five people. If all the people take a seat and no seat is left unoccupied, how many tables sit four people? Okay, so let's let uh, x, oops, let's let x equal uh, the number of tables that sit uh, five, four people. Okay, and then y equal the number of tables that sit five people. Well, we have a couple equations. We have x plus y equals 53. And we also have um, 4x plus 5y equals 224, because 4 times the number of tables that sit uh, 4 people plus 5 times the number of tables that sit 5 people should equal the total number of people, all right? So if we want to figure this out, we want to eliminate the number of tables that sit 5 people, so let's multiply this by 5, so we get 5x, uh, 5y and 5 times 53 is going to be 265. And then let's just subtract off this whole thing here. And we're going to get x, the number of tables that sit four people. These are going to cancel, right? Uh, that's going to equal 65 minus uh, 224 which is going to be um, actually I made a problem with this, this problem. <laughs> this should be 234 people. I added wrong. But anyways, uh, so yeah, this should be 234. So that, that leaves us with 31, which is what I have in my notes. But anyways, so... <laughs> And here comes part of the, the reason why you make an automated worksheet. You want to make this automated because you could make a simple mistake like this coming up with the problem for students, and um, then it would potentially throw it off. Um, all right, so we get uh, this is our solution. All right, but you know this took some time to make this problem. I took a little bit of time before the video to make it. Um, the way I made it is I picked some number four times some number of tables, so in this case 31, and that equals 124, right? And then I did five times some other random number I picked, 22, and that equals 110, okay? Then I added these to get the number of people, which would be 234, and, um, and then I added these to get the number of tables, which should be 53. Okay, so let's get started and create this program. All right, uh, I'm going to, let's make that a little bit bigger, uh, create a program, let's call the program um, sat underscore tables dot pi, and let's create a class called uh, tables, and um, then let's instantiate that class. And we're going to have to pass in self, then we're going to have to pass in um, basically uh, the number of one type of table. So let's call that uh, table uh, one, and then table two for the number of tables. Then those are actually for the number of seats. So let's, let's do seats underscore one, seats underscore two. And then we'll do tables underscore one. And actually, 
you know what, since we're using X and Y, let's do seats X, seats underscore Y, tables underscore X, tables underscore Y. Okay, and let's say self dot seats X equals seats X and self dot uh, seat, as that should be not seat Y, seats Y. Yeah. Keep it consistent. Okay. So self dot seats Y equal seats Y. Okay. And then self dot uh, tables X equals tables X and self dot uh, tables Y equals tables Y. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, so now we've got to have a function that'll create the number of people. So uh, let's say it's called a function number of people. And we'll pass in, whoops, we'll pass in self. Okay. And uh, we'll say self. Uh, self dot, uh, well, actually let's come up with um, some variable people from the number of people. That's going to equal, well, we're going to do seats, uh, we're going to do self dot seats x times uh, the tables for x and then plus um, uh, self, and actually we have to have self in front of all of these. So what am I doing? Self. Okay. And then let's, you know, keep the lines from getting too long. Uh, we'll do self dot, uh, seats y, uh, times self dot tables y. Okay. And then we'll return uh, the number of people will turn people. Okay. And that's that function. All right. So that's cool. Um, so we have the number of people, um, we're going to uh, also need the number of tables. So let's create that function. So the number of tables, uh, we're going to pass in self and we're going to say tables equals self dot tables x uh, plus self dot tables y. Okay, and let's return the tables. Okay. All right, let's move outside this object. And actually, I'm going to go up to the start here and import random for this. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is create a random number list. And that's going to be an open and close bracket like that. And um, then what we're going to do is um, we're going to create uh, some some random values, but we we need to populate the random number list. So I'm going to say for um, and I actually want to limit this a little bit. So let's say for random uh, random tables list, okay? And I'll say four x in range. Let's start at 20 and go up to 30. So I'm going to go up to 31. I'm going to take my random tables list and append X to it. Okay. I'm also going to go down here and create a random um, seats list for the number of seats per table. Okay. And I'm going to say for Y in range. And let's make it between 3 and 8. 
So we'll go to three to nine, okay? And we'll say random seats list dot append uh, y, okay? All right. And so now we want to create the number of problems. So we're going to say number of problems. Uh, we're actually going to take, let's take some user input. So take an integer of the inputs. Uh, how many problems uh, do you want? Okay. And okay. So we'll take that in. All right. And then we'll say for, um, for Z. <laughs> and now let's, let's, let's be specific for problem in range. Uh, and we'll start at one and we'll go to, we want to do the number of problems, but we want to go add one because it'll stop at the number before that. All right. So um, what we're going to do is we have to now create um, seats underscore X seats underscore Y. Uh, and then, and then, uh, tables underscore x tables underscore y and i don't want the seats for x and y to be the same so we're gonna have to figure that out so we're gonna say seats underscore x equals random dot choice and then we'll do the random seats list and then uh, we'll copy this line and change it to y and then i'm gonna have a while loop i'll say while uh seats underscore x equals um, seats underscore y. Um, what I'm going to do is actually I'll just uh, go here and paste that and then let's just indent that. Okay, so we're going to then you know keep going until um they don't equal that okay and then i'm going to say uh also tables underscore x is going to equal random dot choice and then we're going to do uh the random tables list and copy that line and change it to why now I don't want these to be equal either, so I'm going to say while tables underscore x equals tables underscore y. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to um, let's copy that and um, I'm going to keep going until they're not equal. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to create a variable called new problem, and that's going to equal what we have up here, which is tables. So a new problem equals a tables, and we have to pass in now seats underscore x, seats underscore y, uh, tables underscore x and then tables underscore y okay that's our new problem now uh, above this loop so let's go up uh i don't know 13 or so and uh, above this loop we're going to have to have some files to write this to so um i'm going to create a file called sat tables or a variable called sat tables file it's going to be equal to open uh, sat dash tables dash file dot markdown we are going to append to that file and then we're going to have sat tables file underscore solution uh, that's going to equal uh, sat dash tables dash well went down there for some reason dash file dash solution dot markdown and we're going to append to that okay and get rid of those lines at the end there um, okay so now we have to start to write the problem so um, 
I'm going to take the SAT tables file and write, uh, and we'll do a format string. And what I'll say is um, we're doing this to a markdown file. So I'm going to do two uh, hashes for a second level heading. And I'm going to say problem. And then uh, we'll put in new problem. No, uh, we're going to put in problem because problem uh, up at line 31 problem up here, that's going to be, um, you know, the actual number. It's going to start at one. Okay. All right. So uh, now at the end of this, what I want to do is uh, two uh, escape characters and then ends to get two new lines. Okay. And then uh, again, I'll do this SAT tables file dot write um, and then I'm going to write um, something which will be like uh, the number, well, it's going to have to be a format string. So we're going to say something like, um, uh, it's going to be a new problem this time, new problem dot, um, we've got to look at our methods. So go up, uh, we got number of people. So we'll go back down here and new problem dot number of people and that's a method um we'll say walk into let's do a slash here um a room um with now we're gonna have to do new uh, problem dot uh number of tables And that's a method. Um, and then let's take a look at what are, so some of the tables sit, okay, so then we'll have a period. Some of the tables sit, let's do an escape, bring it down, uh, sit, and then we'll have to have table or uh, seats underscore X. Uh, and then while the rest sit seats underscore y, okay, um, people, okay. And then if all the people take a seat, no seat is left unoccupied. So if if all the people take a seat and no seat is left unoccupied. Um, how many tables? How many tables uh, sit? Now we want to have a way to kind of like mix it up. So let's go up here. Um, let's make a choice underscore list equal just uh, we'll just do zero and one okay and then we'll say choice uh, value equals random dot choice choice list and we'll say if choice value equals zero um, the choice <laughs> equals uh, let's say seats dot x or seats underscore x okay else the choice equals seats underscore y okay all right. All right. So how many tables sit? Then we'll pass in the choice. Uh, and people with a question mark. And then escape. Okay. And then at the end of this, uh, for this file, we're going to do SAT tables file 
dot right um, and we'll say um, just do a, a little break here slash in slash in uh, we got to do this in quotes here okay and then we can say um, what we can say is if choice value equals zero, well, then um, we're going to say uh, solution is going to be tables.x. Uh, and then else solution is going to equal tables underscore y. Okay, and then we'll take our SAT tables file solution and we're going to write, uh, do a format string, and we're going to have to write a problem uh, and then the problem, right? And then two escape characters and, or two escapes and then new lines, okay? And then we'll do SAT tables file dot sol dot right um, and then do another f string we'll say solution uh, equals or now let's do colons solution and then uh, we're going to pass in the solution okay uh, yeah and then do two escapes and then we'll do sat uh, tables file sol dot right uh, and we'll just write, you know, a little break here and, okay. Let's get out of this for loop and let's, um, now take SAT tables file and close it. And then SAT tables file solution and close that. Okay. And all right, cool. Uh, so we wrote it, um, Let's run the terminal now and let's um, do Python 3 and then the name of the file. So sat underscore tables dot pi. And I'll say, how many problems do you want? Let's do 100. And it ran. No errors. Sweet. So we're going to exit out of that and let's see what our formatting is and see that our logic is correct. Okay. So let's open up and we have a file created. You watched the video yesterday. You saw the sat fraction simple fractions um, that we did. And we got this markdown file. Okay, so let's check it out. So, all right, so 288 people walk into a room with 51. Okay, so here's something that I see with 51 what? Okay, some of the tables sit four while the rest sit seven people. So we got some formatting. If all the people take a seat and no seat is left unoccupied, how many tables sit four people? Okay. Um, let's fix our formatting a little bit. Okay. So I'm actually going to quit out of here and list out the files. And then I'm going to remove um, those two files. So uh, what were the two files? The markdown files, SAT as well, this one and this one. Let's remove those two. Okay, and let's set the files again. We see they're gone. Okay, let's vim into SAT tables.py and let's fix up our formatting a bit. Uh, Jedi is not working. Okay. Well, whatever. Anyways. Um, all right. Uh, let's go here. Uh, so we got to have tables after this. Okay. Some of the tables sit. Okay. Down here, we've got to have people. Okay. All right. I think our formatting is good. Uh, let's go to the terminal now and 
Let's run it. Let's do 100 again. OK. And let's exit the terminal. And let's go and check out the formatting. So 20, 236 people walk into a room with 48 tables. Some of the tables sit four people, or the rest sit six people. If all the people take a seat and no seat is left unoccupied, how many tables sit four people? OK, and let's just scan down. So that's picking the first one. This next one picks the first one. Uh, that's picking the first one. Are they all picking the first one? Uh, nope, nope. This one's picking the second one. Um, four, three. What other choices do we have? Uh, eight. Okay, five. Okay. We get six here. Okay, so it seems like we're getting a bunch of choices here. All right, so 236 people. I'm just going to mark that down. We're going to take a look at this real quick. Uh, 48 tables. Uh, some of the tables sit four people. The rest sit six. Okay, how many tables sit four? Okay, let's go to our draw island and check this out. Make sure that we've got this uh, correct. Uh, maybe I'll open up a... Another draw island here. Actually, I need to open one of these. Bigger one. So, you know, what's our equation? Well, we have uh, 4 and 6. So 4x plus 6y. Equals 236. And then... Uh, x plus y equals 48. Okay, and we're trying to solve for the number of tables that sit four people. So uh, I'm going to multiply this by everything by negative 6. So we've got negative 6x, negative 6y, and do 48 times negative 6. We get negative 288 here. So we're going to get uh, negative 2x equals, and we want to do 236 plus negative 238, or 236 minus 288. That's negative 52. Uh, so negative 52, divide both sides by negative 2, and we get x equals 26. <laughs> That's a messy 26. Okay, anyways, uh, so we'll go back to here. And now I'm going to open this back up and go to my solution, and we'll see the first solution is 26. So it appears to be working. I'm going to check some of the other solutions before I, I put this up, especially with the second ones. Uh, on teacher pay teachers, but um, so far so good. It looks pretty good. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. You can also uh, support this channel by going down to um, my link to GitHub and giving me a star in GitHub if you want, or um, I'm going to leave uh, a link to this worksheet later in the day uh, on teacher pay teachers. I'll probably put it up there for like a dollar. Uh, you could support the channel in that way as well, if you choose, or just watching the video, you've supported the channel in a way. Uh, so thank you either way. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I hope to see you in the next one.